Well, you know, um, I've got a framework that I, I generally work with my clients on and I call love it or leave it. And from that perspective, understanding what you truly want to do, like we just chatted about understanding, you know, what your true sort of areas of genius are, or as Dan Sullivan from strategic coach would say your unique ability. So, and really understanding what that is so that you're spending all of that time working there. And when you're working in the things, it's, it's usually the things that maybe you're really good at doing, but you don't necessarily want to do. Maybe you right. wanted to do them a year ago, three years ago, five years ago, but you've either outgrown that, grown tired of it. I mean, entrepreneurs, it's a lot of times have this squirrel brain, right? It's like, okay, been there, done <laughs> yep. that. I've yep. tackled it. Now I want to move on. And yep. so, but you can't move on. You can't move on until you've aligned what we call sort of the five P's. And you know, those are your promise, your product, your, your uh, process, your people so that you can get the profit. And we can talk about those a little bit more too, because that's when you're really starting to set into the leadership side of things. Look at all of those facilities within your business and you're aligning the accountability. So again, aligning mm. the accountabilities and the management structure so that it's going to elevate and delegate to everybody else in the organization. And they're going to be working in their love it areas too of what they do, because not everybody's good at the same thing. And and by the way, that's good. We want to have unique abilities throughout the business that are complementing each other. And so that the one owner doesn't have to know every single little thing because that's when growth stops. And we hit these ceilings of complexity along the way. And so those, those kind of things are the things we need to break through as the leaders of our organization.